up YouTube? Yeah, it's me 86 and welcome to another video. Uh, this is my Grammy 2013 uh, review. Um, I'm trying not to let this be wrong because I actually did another video but it was too freaking long so it's like, let me do another one. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. So the Grammys came on last night on CBS uh, at 8 o'clock and I usually before the war shows I watch E of course and they have like the red copy where all the celebrities come and interview and I really just watch to see who's gonna show up with who and the outfits and different things like that so you have different people coming in they interview Jennifer Lopez you have Rihanna Chris Brown just everybody is a who who you know what I'm saying basically they come through in that interview and so yeah so I'm like okay um because I really just want to see you know what Beyonce would be wearing and Rihanna all these different people Beyonce came in. She actually didn't wear a dress this year. She had like a cute black and white jumpsuit, which was really, really cute. And a lot of people didn't like because they were saying it was like too simple. But I thought it was really, really nice because she wasn't a performer. She actually was presenting this year. And so I think she just kind of just was like, I'm just going to go and have fun, support my husband and just chill and have fun and not be too glammed up. So whatever. It was cool. But, um, you know, Rihanna was one of my favorite as well. She had, like, this beautiful red uh, sheer dress on. I forgot the name of the designer, but she looked really, really nice. And she actually, you know, she usually had the shave side and then the long hair. She actually added more hair in the side, so it was kind of like this brown. Um, I think, well, it looked like a wig, but it was, like, brown or whatever with the different highlights. And I thought it was cute for her because I haven't seen her with long hair in a while, whatever. So I thought she looked nice. Uh, so yeah, the Grammy was actually, you know, came on CBS at 8 o'clock at Oak J was again, this host, uh, again, the host this year. They had, uh, Taylor Swift, she opened up with Never Ever, Getting Back Together, We Are Never Ever Ever. Okay, let me just say this. I'm not in any shape or form a big fan of Taylor Swift. I just, you know, I feel like with her, she's not the best singer. I do, you know, commend her for writing her own songs and different things like that. Most of them about her boyfriends and when she break up, but whatever. Whatever floats her boat. Um, and her songs are very, very catchy. So, you know, but she has this thing that she does is very annoying to me. Like, she always surprised when she win awards. I'm like, girl, you were not that surprised. But, yeah. But anyway, she opened the show and I just felt like, you know, when you have um, different shows be it, you know, BET Awards, the MTV Awards, uh, any show, you want to start it off with something hype, you know what I'm saying? I want to be like, hey, you know, get into it, when not. And it was just like, okay. For an opening, I was expecting more, and I actually thought Justin Timberlake was going to open, because yesterday I heard that, you know, it was a room that he was opening up, so I thought that was cool. So I didn't, wasn't even expecting Taylor Swift to open day on the show, but it is what it is. She did okay. She did what, what Taylor Swift does. The production was good. She, whatever. Uh, yeah. But um, I actually was looking forward to just seeing Justin Timberlake because he hadn't been in the music industry for as far as, you know, albums and things like that. He's been kind of on the acting thing. So, you know, he hadn't been in doing music in four or five years and he has a new album that's coming out and he has a single called uh, Suit and Tie featuring Jay-Z. And so, I really just wanted to see him perform and do new, mu new music. And actually, um, Beyonce was there. She presented with Ellen DeGeneres. I always get her. Ellen DeGeneres. Yes, she presented with um, Ellen DeGeneres. And they presented JT or whatnot. And it was really, really cool. And I always forget the name of the second song that he did. Because he did Suit and Tie with Jay-Z, which was cool. Jay-Z kind of just got all the orders and stuff. But I always forget the name. But it's... um. It's called loving, loving her, or s somebody gonna correct me on my comments, but it's a really, really cool song. It's off his upcoming album, and you know if you didn't get a chance to see his actual performance, I'm sure it's on YouTube, wherever. Make sure you guys check it out. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed the whole black and white scene. It was like a throwback and a band. It was really, really good. Background singers, like the whole thing. I love the live instruments. Like everything was on point to me. A lot of people saying it was too long and it was kind of giving him, giving them the Robin Thicke feel as far as like the look and everything. But it is what it is. I, I've always been a fan of Justin Timberlake since NSYNC. You know, I go way back. So it was nice to see him. And so far, the music I've been hearing is really, really nice. 
Um, but back to the award show, I know, um, as far as like the awards and things like that, I know Adele won the award, she won for best pop vocal performance. And she, you know, I wasn't too fond of her outfit. I thought it looked like a comforter or something on a sofa or something like that. I wasn't, you know, but it's Adele, Love Adele. So that was my only thing about her. But other than that, Love Adele. Um, best Contemporary R&B Album. Um, I believe it should have went to Chris Brown. Frank Ocean actually won for his album. Or it could have went to um, McGill. McGill has had a big year. He was nominated um actually for a couple of awards um, a lot of awards i think like six awards and so you know they could have given Miguel, 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 <laughs> and Miguel actually performed the door him and Wiz Khalifa they did the remix and that was cool he can really really sing uh yeah and that was cute who goes oh uh rihanna was on there and she actually won her seventh grammy that day she won for um, we found love in a hopeless place. I think best visual video, something about the video. But yes, yeah, she won her son Grammy and she actually was performing. And she performed twice. She did one with the Bart Marley tribute and she did one solo performance. And she did her single Stay, which is actually going to premiere tonight on E. And yeah. So make sure you guys tune in for stay. And so I always like that song. I heard that song um, a couple of months ago when she released Unapologetic, her album. And um, I, one of her best vocal performances, actually, I really liked it. It was really emotional and raw. Because usually like when Rihanna, I always felt like she just sings the song. She's not really connected to any of her songs. So it was nice to kind of see her just standing there and sing and, you know, um, be vulnerable. And so, yeah, I liked the performance. It was, like, nice, nice moment. I mean, very haunting, nice single. And the guy that actually wrote the song came in. His name is Pocky. It's Mickey. Mickey. How about I say Mickey Icky? That is not his name. His name is... Mm, nah, I don't remember. It's done, I think it's Mickey. Is it Mickey? Y'all, please, I'll be my mind but yes anyway she did well um what else did like black did they didn't mom bomb my electric bill mm -mm, mm, they had Bruno Mars thing and they had that Molly brothers and Rihanna that was cool uh Kelly Clarkson performed she did a medley she did one of my favorite songs you make me feel like an natural woman. And she was paying tribute to Carol King, if I'm not mistaken. But she killed it. Love her. Who else performed? Curry Underwood. Um, love her. She performed. I'm not big on her in any of her songs. I know some of her songs, but I don't, you know. I think her performance is really, really cool. Her dress was actually having these beautiful imagery as she was performing. And I thought like the whole production everybody's production was really really nice um this year on the grammy so yeah um my 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 who was who was who was who was was interesting but yeah um you know a lot of talk tonight was just basically trying to see if anybody was going to break the code or whatnot different things like that chris brown and rihanna actually showed um showed up they didn't walk the red carpet together, but they did sit together at the war show, and they were, like, cuddled and holding hands and different things. So people were talking about that today on, like, the entertainment shows, and I'm just like, people, let it go. They're going to do what they want to do. It is what it is. So, let me. But all in all, I give the Grammys a C. It was average. Um, like I said, I was only tuning in to see Beyonce. And to see Justin Timberlake perform, I'm really looking forward to actually this coming Saturday. Beyonce special comes on HBO documentary, and before that, after was after the after Beyonce presented, Oprah had announced on Twitter that she's actually going to be on the next chapter and interview her on Saturday. So 8 p.m. on own, tune in Beyonce interview with Oprah, and then at night you can switch over to HBO to watch that documentary. It's called Life Is But a Dream. And, uh, yeah, so all the Beyonce stains and things, make sure you guys tune in, which I know, of course, you're going to have a DVR. I know I will. And, yes, that's my Grammy review. And, you know, I'm sure I left out a lot of things because it was like a three and a half hour show, like I said. So, you know, all the major people that, you know, supposed to one 
they won. Jay Z had won for best collaboration for No Church with Frank Ocean and the Dream. The Dream had on like all black and this um had to say explicit. Then it had Boys in the Hood. He just looked like a hot and ratchet mess. And so Jay Z got on stage and they each took turns, you know, saying their thank yous or whatnot. And then um, Jay Z just got on there and was like, Yeah, I want to thank the swap me for his hat. And everybody had to laugh. And I thought that was cool. Jay Z is cool. I like him. He's funny. Like a dry sense of humor. Uh, yeah. But yes, that's my review of the Grammys. Let me know what you guys thought of performances. Performances. Leave your comments and um, enjoy the rest of your night. And I'll see you next time. Deuces.